Welcome back to Maverick Performance Golf as well as the 1611 Indoor Golf Club. Today we are going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be taking a virtual course tour of a brand new course that was just uploaded to the Trackman Simulator Systems. This is Adair Manor located in Limerick, Ireland. And I'm going to read this directly from the Trackman's uh, website. The golf course at Adair Manor, host to the Ryder Cup in 2027, offers a spectacular golfing experience in a beautiful Parkland estate. With mature trees, gorgeous landscape terrain, and bounded by the peaceful waters of the River Maig. The course is every bit as strategic as it is scenic. It demands precision, but rewards risk and courage. So that is directly from Trackman. And we are about to get into the golf course. What you're looking at now is not game footage. That is actually from their website with their logo on it. So that's the real life. All right, so this golf course is going to be playing par 72 and then the playing yard is going to be 7,509 yards at 66 feet of elevation. Here at number one is our first par four, playing 408 yards. Pretty simple, just a slight dog leg right. Gets a little more complicated as you get up by the green. You do have that little burn that runs there uh, almost into the green, uh, and the green kind of slopes around it right to left. And then coming into number two is our second par four. Playing 450 yards, again, not too difficult. You do have the river there on your left-hand side as well as that little burn uh, running between the river and the fairway. If you notice, a lot of tree lines here, a lot of really tight fairways, so shot placement's gonna be key on a golf course like this. And a pretty skinny little uh, entryway into that green there, so not a lot of room to miss. And then coming up on number three uh, is gonna be our a third par four. So three par fours right out of the gates. This one playing 382 yards. Again, a little dog leg left that kind of wants to come back to the right as you come into the green complex. Nothing too over the top or crazy, just a, a little bit of a green there. A little more undulation on that green though. Uh, coming up on number four is going to be our first of the par threes. Pretty straightforward, playing 189, I'm sorry, 169 yards. Again, pretty simple. You do have a bunker on the right-hand side as well as a big collection off to the left uh, and then the river long, so not a lot of room for error on that par three. Coming up on number five, we do have another par four playing 381 yards. Uh, this is the first where we start to see a lot of hazards. Uh, you do have that water kind of short and right as well as those fairway bunkers we just passed. And then into a fairly simple green complex that wants to slope from back left to front right. Number six is going to be our second par three, playing 209 yards. Pretty long hole. Not a lot of room for air. The, the miss here is absolutely going to be short because anything long left or right is going to be flirting with that water, and then you do have that pot bunker you have to mess with. Uh, coming up to number seven, you do have our first par five, playing 455 yards. Not too long of a hole, but definitely some risk-reward stuff here as you do have that uh, lake structure on the right. And then that green does almost peninsula off into that with uh, that pot bunker again as well. So, again, not too difficult of a hold, but a lot of risk reward there. Coming up on number eight is going to be another par four playing 459 yards. This is where they start to really add a lot of bunkers in where you have to either lay up short of them or really carry a driver past them, as you can see there. And then again, not too difficult, uh, probably one of the more open green structures on this golf course with just a few bunkers left. Uh, number nine, rounding out our front nine, is gonna be another par five. Now this one's a long one, playing 630 yards. That's a lot. Uh, and you do have <laughs> more fairway bunkers to kind of mess with, whether you should lay short or go long of those. So once you get through those, not too difficult up here. You do have that collection area with that pump bunker right in the middle. So it doesn't look like too difficult of a green complex, but you do have that bunker. All right, to the back nine, number 10, playing 396 yards is another par four. Again, pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of pot bunker there around two, um, is that 262? So if you hit a driver 300 yards, you can carry it right over that. Um, but again, the green complexes here in Ireland uh, at Adair Manor are not the easiest. So uh, another par three, playing 206 yards. If you notice the theme here, uh, these are pretty long. Don't want to miss it right. Not a whole lot of trouble in this hole except for that water, but a very, very long green structure. So coming up on number 12 now is another par five playing 602 yards. So pretty long one. Again, as you see there, more green complexes or more bunker complexes there to mess with your landing area. And then right after that, it takes a pretty sharp turn to the left. Definitely a placement hole. Not a lot of guys will be able to hit this one in two unless you can really turn on two clubs in a row 
and hit a monster or a driver and a monster three wood. Uh, minus those bunkers, pretty simple. Again, not massive greens. Coming up on number 13 now to the par four, playing 453 yards. So decent little size par four here. And again, there's another bunker right in your landing area. So you just gotta be really smart about it. Uh, if you take those hazards into consideration, these are fairly tight fairways. Obviously those tree line doesn't give you a lot of room to work as far as if you're gonna turn the ball left or right to land where you want to. All right, number 14, another par four playing 439 yards. Again, not too difficult of a tee shot here, but you do have a pretty substantial miss right if hitting into this green. So we gotta be really careful about that water over there. And then on to number 15, another par four playing 349 yards. Not too long, but a very tight tee shot. You do have those two big trees on the left-hand side plus that bunker. And then obviously you have the river on the right-hand side as well as the manor uh, coming into this green complex. So not a lot of room for a miss here. Almost one of those holes you just want to pull a long iron or a hybrid out. All right, moving away from the manor, going on 16, another par three, playing 137 yards, pretty straightforward, but as you can see, it is a very wide green and not very deep, and you have a lot of water in front of it, so you gotta make sure you carry that. Number 17, a par four, playing 520 yards. Pretty straight, uh, right here, right through that chute, um, down those different tee boxes, moving into that complex. This one's kind of one of the first ones you can almost just hit away at and not really to worry too much about that bunker. Gets a little narrow up there. And then as you come into that green complex, you do have that bunker off to the right. Um, other than that, it's just a little bit of an elevated, so anything's gonna run away from it that you hit. And finally, on our finishing hole, number 18, a par five playing 549 yards, big risk reward here. You know, you do have that bunker on the right-hand side. And then that second shot, you really have to make a decision if you want to stay in that main ferry to the right or if you want to try and clear that river on the left towards those other two bunkers. Um, again, because of the placement of things, almost near impossible to try and go for it. But that is going to be Adair Manor. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And we will catch you guys in one of the bays soon.